Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Potion Craft with our little journey from Homebrewer to Evil Master Alchemist. And we are continuing it right there where we left off and that is still with the flu or COVID or something. And um, we just created Void Sword. Isn't that beautiful? Right on the day where we got the recipe, still being very efficient about things. And now we just need Master Alchemist to appear once again to actually proceed with the high up chapters. But in the meantime, there are plenty of other things to do and effects to grab and uh, paths to explore. So that is exactly where we are going to go. Also, customers to please with evil, evil tools for evil deeds. And um, uh, did we did we succeed? With that, where's the salt? Oh, there it is. Yes. So, void salt, of course, created. Customers have been waiting ever since uh, we went there. It was really quite easy to do, though. Now, let me show you. We did not quite sort things out as intended just yet. The first effect needed for creating the void salt is the necromancy potion strong potion of necromancy so i'm not going to save that additionally just to make it look nicer here and you can see that you now have the p2 effect p3 effect p4 effect p5 effect these together with a normal strong potion of necromancy does make void sword so it's reasonably easy to keep track of these things and as we are moving up in the crystals that we create, we're going to create some of these little bunches of recipes as well, because that is just what I found really quite useful uh, to not get lost with all these recipes lying around. I think that's solid. Now, good sir. Potion of fire. Yes, yes. That is, that is a, a very doable request. So, um... Let's make one for the gallery and one for you, actually. So, uh, bring this one. Pop that on there. Do we want to haggle? Yeah, we do. Because we are not going to send away customers, um, we can equally well just, just haggle everything now. Do want to have the money. I need poison for a job. Pay extra if it's truly good. Oh, that's nice. So it's just our standard potion, but she's willing to pay even more for that, even though we would have offered it to her anyways, and she didn't know about that. Um, but that's fine. No, it's not fine. No, it is fine, because we did save the alternative version of this one. Let's make two of them. And throw that over here. There you have it. And she's paying 97 for it. Well, that's almost worth haggling for. So here we go, and last, no, oh, come on, there you go, yep. and now, uh, I need to coat my blade with something lethal, poison, healing, <laughs> snail, uh, oh, this one, shrinking slipper in his fragrance, I want to see his face. <laughs> no, okay, this one? Healing, strength, poison, fire, frost. Now, okay. Okay, now he's getting pissed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gotta watch out. He, I, I think he is... He already has the dagger in his hand to, to slay me good. But, no. <clears throat> I'm going to offer him something that is rather fine. How about just another potion of fire? It's, it's fine. Yes. There you go, and I'm going to haggle you too. Ah, oh, yes, these customers. They, they have so high requirements. Why does no one like my weak potion of frost, healing, strength, poisoning, and fire? I mean, it's beautiful. Look at its color. It's, I, oh, I know. I'm going to go to the, um, ah, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, the, the store where they sell stationery. So, um, like, children's coloring book, right? I'm going to offer them this one as paint. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, you're still waiting. Sorry, you're still waiting. Yes. Here you go. Ah! Favorite person in the world. The only person in the world who makes us slightly less evil. 
Um, only when she's here, though. So, uh, shall we trade? Yes. Can you give me any advice on growing herbs in my garden? Um, well, enchanted tree, yes. We don't need any help there. We have the enchanted tree. But I'm going to to guess that it's not quite that simple once the garden upgrades system, the new mechanics are arriving. I'm really looking forward to those. So, yeah. Uh, show me your goods. What do you have? Mm, yeah, dream beat is fine. We are getting some blood fawns as well. Uh, at a decent price. And my favorite component in the game. It's This is the by far the best one. The whirlweed. It's absolutely amazing. And for 34 pop, oh yes. Um, that They were like dirt cheap before, like half that. So I bought them for 17 on sale before. So crazy. Uh, Dream Beats, yeah. And these, and these, and these. No, no, not these. Uh, but these, yes. So everything but the marked up ones. Don't really need these. But I'm super happy about the Whirlweed. Fantastic. Uh, going to haggle this one, dear. And get that one going. There, there, there. And done. No! All my beautiful gems! Uh, emeralds tend to not be cut that way. It's probably some kind of either some some cheap or quartz or some diamond, uh, di diamond or something or morganite or they probably didn't know about morganites back then. Sapphire, ruby, and amethyst? Yes, okay. Um, we go here and have a deal. Also, well, you can cut amethyst any way you want, so that's fine. But, um, rubies? Do you cut rubies that? No. Usually not. Okay, anyway, anyway. Um, it's a deal, dear. Even though I offer you really weird, weirdly cut gems. Maybe should make up a gem cutter service here instead of, of alchemy uh, shop. Uh, anyway, yeah, here we go. Oh, my favorite people in the world are showing up. Look how how they look like they have had a great day already. Uh, I love setting stuff on fire, blowing it up too. Yeah, I need a potion that makes things burn and explode. All right. All right, good sir. I think I can make you a potion and that burns and explodes. Uh, yeah. So we are going to make one of these, but continue brewing from here because that one. Oh, oh, this is good. Uh, we've already scouted how that one is done, right? So um, three mad shrooms. That's a little costly, but guess. So we just continue from here. So we do have a potion of Big Boom. And now we do want to get rid of that path. Just want to have the downwards trajectory left over. Fire it up. Teleport. And then just throw in two Terrarias and we have that effect, right? So this one was quite cheap. Uh, especially considering that Terrarias are considered free anyway uh, at this point. Now, where are they? Here. 86, yeah. That's, that's more than enough. Uh, yeah. But let's be a little tricky about this and grab both of these as well. So now I can't ladle anymore. I only need a level 2 effect. Maybe one Terraria is actually enough because we can start ladling here. Yeah, it's looking good. Ladle a little bit more. You see, why am I doing this? You probably know the answer already, but um, I'm doing this because ladling early does move you down a little bit as well. If I moved down first and then ladled, there would be very little downwards motion coming from the ladling. So now I just hope that I don't die here, but no, I don't. So uh, that is all good. <clears throat> Let's ladle a little bit more. And there we have a level one effect. And there we go with the level 2 effect. And that fills us up nicely. Oh, by the way, <coughs> if I made this one perfect, then I would remove one of the explosion, right? So remember that. You don't want that, because the explosion is considered the higher up effect, the more profitable effect. So fire is the cheaper one. 
let's um, burn this one through. And no, we don't save the person, but finish it. That was really efficient. Let's go here and see what is... One effect isn't enough for me. Additional effects, yes. There. Mm. Now you see, considering that we... The only thing we spent extra was one Terraria. That is a really good deal. All right, a little haggle to do here. Not the easiest one, but should be successful in the first go there. Yep. Sell it for 529. Very nice. Minus 99. We already almost have it. Okay, I need a potion so I can create flying minions. Favorite favorite ingredient, feather blooms. We do have Did we we have one more. Whew. Add it to the potion and I'll pay extra. All right. Uh, a potion so I can create flying minions. So it's just a potion of... What? We do have feather blooms in this one. Levitation. Should we try this one out? Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. 990. Good, sir. That is a staggering offer. And uh, it's not enough for us. So, um, yeah, here we go. A little bit of an easy haggle. And there we go. 1,386. Back over 10k. Approved. Pure evil. Reach the minimum reputation level. You, yes. Beautiful. Um, okay, this is weak. A weak one, yes. A weak one. A weird one. So, she wants to have a weak potion. For whatever reason, we're heading out to rob some caravans. Holding a lot of loot, but they are also well guarded. I need a protective or strengthening potion of some kind. This is delicate, so I prefer a weak potion. She doesn't care about double effects, though. So, let's make a weak potion of strength. Um, cool. Yeah, we just throw that one in, I guess. And then not fully um, fully stir it out. But we are going to teleport. So fire it up. This one doesn't need to be pixel perfect. That's why I'm doing it a little faster than usual. And there you go. Touch it. Fire it up. And she will be perfectly happy. Finish the potion. Definitely not going to save that one. And throw it up there. Oh, 174. Yeah, we haggle this one. It was such a pain to make, dear lady. Dear robber, we we we're really getting a nice bonus here for our um, best best price. Uh, so yeah, sell that one. Two hundred fifty almost for that that potion for one ingredient. Nice. The guards almost caught me, but I escaped. But I was pulling free. They jabbed me hard in the side. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything that will heal it? Yeah, you can just take this one. Nah, don't care. Don't care. Fine. Oh, this one was actually neutral. Okay, it was an evil person. But it was a good deed. So, I guess. Yeah, that's interesting that there's still some nuance in there. That's that's well done. Um, we do need a new healing potion, though. Let's, let's brew some real quick. Only 22! Yeah, uh, let's put two down here. Another day done. No gardening. All customers are gone. Now, I think what, what we are going to do is uh, head down here first, take a look at the recipe, sigh loudly. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of things that we need to consider for this. These, this side is very straightforward, just straight up perfect recipes. We do need, however, a new Nigredo. So that one needs to be crafted first. So let's do this now. <clears throat> and then, um, so poison, stone skin, sleep, and yeah, that's fine. Um, and then pull the lever and start saturating the, the, our, our alchemy workshop with the correct stuff for this one, for the, um, albedo. Oh, lots to do. And then we go out to explore. Poison, strength. Stone skin, sleep, and snail. And I use the alternate way of creating the um, poison potion. And sleep was the only one that I did not have yet. Alright, that should be all. 
Again, much easier to do is having the recipe up and then pulling the stuff in there. Because um, then you at least have direct confirmation of where things need to go. So like this, pull the lever and you can just pull it up again and it's done. <laughs> when you're crafting things so quickly you want to usually do that part quickly as well unless you enjoy the process. So uh, Nigredo in there, Nigredo goes back in there and we are going to craft some of these as well. Ah, can only make one of those. Yeah, it's a inefficient invisibility. Oh, no, wait a second, that's the wrong. That's not a clean invisibility. Oh no! We had the recipe for this one all along. Yeah, so this is void salt P3 that we made there. That wasn't intended. So let's make a clean invisibility potion and just trash this one. So here you go. Gone, are you? Now, the whirlweed. It is good. It is really good. Look at this. Vroom! Just takes you there. And then, throw in another one. Yes, you can. So, um, and it goes right through that effect as well, if you wanted to grab it. So two of these. Um, and then we go sideways with a water gap. Whoa. That's a very advanced way of do doing this one. In terms of uh, available ingredients. So I was lucky to get some water caps there. I'm just going to finish it off there. Throw that in. And then we're going with another whirlweed. That one should do the trick. I think. I think. I hope. It does. Should. Yes. Please. Please do. So I'm going to grind all out. Maybe that's too much, but we can always ladle a little. little. And yeah, that should actually be, be okay. So let's throw that in. And hope we don't die along the way. Uh, this is taking too long. Are we touching any whirlpools? No. Okay. Fire it up a little. There you go. Now, go faster. Go faster. Yeah. Yep, yep, exactly. That was very close. Very, very close. But so, so it is. Um, now let's exactly touch that one. And there. And slowly advance the path. It wasn't very slowly at all. Uh, without dying, we want to get there. That means we need to proceed and cross the line. Something like... That's still too close, right? But the, the way back here is getting us there. We just need to make sure that we're not dying here. So this is looking right. Yeah! I think that's going to be perfect. So let's go from here. Stir that one out and don't die. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes, that is... That's the way of the evil alchemist. Sometimes taking risks is fun. <clears throat> it gives you heart attacks. So, let's be a little careful here. Um, we are ladling back. Now, let's see if we can align the lines. And, yes we can. That was a level 3 effect right there. Uh, on the edge, I have to say. On the edge. And, it's okay, it's... Or overshot a little bit. It's not pixel perfect. It will do. Three whirlweeds and one water cap. That's not that many ingredients for something that is so far away. <laughs> it's great. Save the recipe. Finish the potion. Now, put it back where it belongs and that is right there at the top of our recipe book. Oh, and you know what we are doing now? That we have that clean recipe. I think what we are going to do is uh, go north beyond the barrier and see what's there because there's a lot that we don't know about this area and exploration is fun. So in order to get there we now know I'm not going to brew the um, invisibility potion effect because that would mean that we are already taking up three slots of our five slots. Oh, uh, can we just add a few? I don't know. 
I don't know how that exactly works if you have a level 3 effect and then continue to add effects beyond the fifth slot. Which effect gets removed? I don't know. Probably the strong effects get um, reduced to level 2. But I'm not sure about it. So um, would be interesting to find out too. So should we just do that? That would be educational at least. Oh, one thing that I can show you would be what the um, Void Salt does, right? So if we have turned a little too far there, and I threw that in here, let's see what the Void Salt does. Just to, starts to erase a little bit there. But look how many units it's taking. That was over, si over 50 units already, 58 units to remove that little bit of path. So um, that's it right there. But uh, now, we're almost back to where we wanted to go. And that was here, but now we just, should we? Should we take it? I guess, some, it might, might be a weird potion to try and sell if there are negative effects up here. <clears throat> we shall see. So we know we didn't have much leeway there whatsoever, so I can't do it with the first path, but I, at the same time, I would love to have a little bit extra here. Uh, because the cloud crystal from there jumps us over very nicely. I think, you know what, I think I'm going to just skip that. Um, it is... Yeah, is this going to kill us? Uh, something like this. Um, that would still be the perfect effect for that, and it should not kill us right there. But going back, I don't think is, is really a good option. So, um, let's go there, and... No! No, it wasn't quite enough! <clears throat> well, that was three wasted whirlwinds, which is a big rip. Um, press F in the comments to pay respects. And, well, and a water cap. That's probably worse because we uh, didn't have that. But, alas, what I'm going to do now is the smarter way of doing it. Continue brewing from here. Because we knew that worked, right? So, let's continue. We do have... Shall we throw in one of these? Or just a witch mushroom? Uh, allows us to get pretty close to that one right away and just scout a bit. So, let's throw in one there. Go to here. And the cloud uh, crystal is going to be sacrificed on the altar of awesome. So go there. And teleport over. Whee! And there we have some kind of effect waiting for us. Straight up. What could it be? It is something about air. Hmm. Don't know what that means. Um, first, I want to see what's a little bit more of the other side. So let's use the whirlpool which we are connected to almost. We are there. And go around a bit. And just get a bit of understanding of what's there. Alright, that's good enough. Don't want to teleport because that could very well teleport us back to the other side. So now we throw in a whirlweed. And go there. And we try to grab some XP along the way as well. Like if we can get the big book there, that would be fantastic. We are going to get it because there is another unknown effect. And that, over there, is the uh, barrier of the, or the limit of knowledge. So, um, we are going to go to the side. Fire. What do we have? Something like this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We just need to touch it because we can't rotate our potion anyway. So, this one pretty much does the trick. But lava root is expensive, Killer Rob. Yeah, you're right, you're right, I know. I know. Lava root is expensive. Um, should we do anything fancy with the phantom skirt here? Nah. Would that get us around? It would certainly make us discover a lot, because it would allow us to go here first, go around to here, and then use the path. You know what, that's probably an interesting idea, just to go out there and scout a bit more. And these are very useful for scouting. So let's go like that way. And 
Oh yes, look at how much we discover over in this direction. And now, just fire it up gently. Where does this teleport go? <clears throat> it is dangerous to figure that one out right now. Maybe it just goes to there. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, actually. All right, anyway, we are going to go here because that doesn't kill us any longer. And then... Oh, yes. And let's see if that actually increases experience as we touch the barrier. So we had 776 and... There, bloop, 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 bloop. We made contact. Uh, that wasn't a big gain, was it? But we're now going to throw in a fireball, regardless, and see what's in the other direction. And ladle back to that one. That is a narrow path over there. It's a very narrow path. All right, um, fired up. What is it? What is it? Inspiration. You, now you're invisible and feel inspired. How beautiful. Now I want to check out what I have more stuff for. Going to the right or going to the left? So let's see. Uh, we do have for going to the left a lot of firebells. Like hilarious amounts of firebells. Um, thanks to Herbalist Girl who came by with a decent load of them. And otherwise, it's decent. It's decent. We also have something that goes to... Um, to this direction if needed not that much let's check out the other direction um, a little bit more limited but more varied we don't have enough water blooms really we have plenty of life leaves that go that direction poop shrooms even more important not um, all right all right I think I'm convinced that we are actually going to go this direction so let's throw in a few uh, Firebells and get through that gap, shall we? Let's see what's on the other side. Aha, it opens up. Very nice. Um, let's go there. Yeah. Ah, uh, don't die. Don't die. This is scary. And on the way, we probably do want to scout some of those whirlpools, at least the ones that are obviously not going to teleport us like into the middle of nowhere. This one, I don't know. This might be going in there so um, yeah let's throw in another fire bell because it's cheap touch this one Ooh. <clears throat> do we want to play it safe and get rid of our path first or do we just want to fire up we, we like to play dangerous right so let's go let's go faster where does it go oh wow Oh, wow, that was a big teleport. And a good one. Yeah. And with a little ladling, we can reach the next one. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, a little bit more ladling, and we can actually see what's going on down here. We still touch that. Yes. And, ah, there's a new effect. But we do want to find out where this one goes, too, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, fire it up. And it's going... Oh, another good one. Yes. So where do we want to go first? This whirlpool? Up to this experience? Or grab this effect? I think grab the effect, right? It's probably the safest. Um, although this one is very much within reach. Let's see what's there. Oh, no, this is dangerous. Because that looks hidden. In, in some kind of... Death cage. Mm. So yeah, I'm going to play this one safe. Ladle back. Just throw in. Uh, just fire this one up first. Fear! Oh, that's not a good combination anymore. It's not a positive effect, is it? This will be a hard sell. Uh, anyway. Um, let's continue. We're up here. We can try to find out a few things so if we wanted to go up there ah, this is becoming a little bit more expensive now oh but yeah let's find out where this one goes we have our potion filled already we can just go like this foggy parasol 
to the side then, and then another fire bear, because we have so many. That's nice. And we're not going to leave any path. Uh, I actually have to throw that into. And, oh, this looks very much like this is going to teleport you there, doesn't it? Let's find out! The potion is done. We have discovered two effects there, right? So, um, let's go. Let's go. Uh, no, it was that. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yep. Can we get out of here? Uh, we do have the pyrite. Should we throw that in there? We do have plenty of terraria, so we can continue scouting. I think it's actually might actually be worth it. Let's be a little sloppy here, like this. Yeah, almost got rid of it. Um, and teleport there. Would love to see where this one goes, though. Should we try that out? Yeah. Yeah. Although, do we see another effect there? Ah, it's so difficult to decide. It's always dangerous to try these out, but you're so happy if you know where they lead uh, when you are out here and and have to be efficient. So let's go here. Maybe this one is teleporting you actually back to there. Doesn't matter if it is the case. We're done here then any anyway. Wasn't a big... Oh, no, it was a big cost. Oh, okay, we go back. Well, thanks. Terraria and uh, Firebell does get us back. So, let's go there. And we grab some XP along the way. Even more if I ladle a little bit right there. And just touch it. There. Fire it up gently. There. And then we are back on the path to scouting all the things out here. Do want to know where this one goes. How about a nice banana, good sir? i grabbing both of these nice juicy XP books. And there. And that one. And touch this one and fire it up. Oh, this path gets a little narrow there. Let's see where this one leads. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, cool. Uh, made up for our mistake taking that one. <laughs> so, let's move down. Now we just need to move down because we have so much ladling capacity here that also pulls us down at the same time and to the side. It's really good. So um, just throw that in. This will probably be enough to touch that one. And oh, ladle first. Oh, no, I missed. Ah, that, yeah. When you mess it up, right? When you mess it up. There. Mm, that is looking good. Yes. And now, ooh, this area looks a little tight. Wow. You're supposed to... What? Okay. Look at this. That structure. So what you can do is go through this narrow path beyond rage and into this. Oh, there's a big book, by the way, in case you need one. Um, not a massive one. Yeah, these are the massive books. But uh, you can go through this path and then try to get through these narrow passages and out here if you don't have crystals. We made our lives a little easier by having one and using using some. And that is a very big book. Do we want to know where this one goes? Probably, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, nice. Back out. Beautiful. So, uh, what I'm going to do is the following. Take a terraria. Oh, this is beyond libido, All right? Okay, so um, we are going to ladle a little bit so that I do grab it while I'm on this furthest extension bit, and then I can take a banana through the path like this. Ah, there's another effect. Yeah, cool. Uh, poop shroom kills us. Thorn stick or banana? Banana. Yeah, that grabs those effects and let's us scout what's on that side very nice now just need a terraria or poop shroom does the trick as well use the poop shrooms while you can so there we have that effect and back out to the barrier of knowledge nope that take that one now we shall find out what actually happens when we add an effect and we have a level three in there how it chooses 
to which effect it chooses to nuke. I would assume it takes away one of the invisibility ones. That it just stacks the potion from the right to left. So it takes one, adds one effect there, and pushes the last one off the list. That would be what I was would be assuming it does. We shall find out if that is the case. It is! Enlargement. So you... Yeah. Alright. So you become very large, fearful, and inspired, as well as invisible. That's a weird potion. Um, now, you see, I actually would like to know what's going on there. And I do have some effect left that takes me to the side, so I'm going to ladle here and see what's there. Huh? Oh, there's another effect there, too. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we're going to grab that one. Ah, okay, here's a narrow path. Ah, it's this one. So this one goes here and then goes up, it looks like. And we are just going to go over here, throw in a few terraria, because they are dirt cheap, and grab that effect as well. So, and some experience along the way. Oh yeah, and where the whirlpool goes too. <laughs> Very nice. So just throw in the terraria. That will do the trick. Uh, no, ladle first. Don't want to die that that easily. All right, here we go. And there. Now, uh, fire it up. What is this? Frost protection. Okay, that makes sense because we are in the fire direction now in the grand scheme of things. Look at the path that we took. Jumped here, went all the way across here, and now we are right there. That's massive. All right. Um, and so far, my little hypothesis of the effects being added from the right and pushing out the effects to the left seems correct. Which is great, because we, when we finish this potion, we do want to have all these new effects, because they are going to count for the chapters. Cool, we continue our path. Ah, this one seems dangerous to take because it might just... It might just teleport us to like there or there or there. Or these... These do look like they might connect to these books. Ah, yeah, taking a mushroom here would be perfect. So I'm not going to try this one out, I believe. Want to explore as much as possible with this one potion. So let's go around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there we're touching the next one. Ah, yeah, let's go, let's go. What do we discover? Okay, can have a little bit of a round trip for this one as well, if we wanted to. And so it does look like there's, is there, is this blocked? We shall find out, I guess. No, this is actually open. There's another effect, but it's on the other side. So we do want to take this route, down there. Okay, that means we need to get back up and out of here, out of this one. Ah, yes, right at the barrier. Uh, yeah, we can always ladle. So let's do that, like this, and fire it up again. Now we are in the right spot. Let's go just to the side. We're not going to find out where this one leads, unfortunately. Off to the uh, boundary of knowledge. This will be a very high up there effect. That one over there. Uh, unfortunately, Harry Banana doesn't do the trick there. Uh, how do I get back out there? Probably just do the simple way, right? We do have so many of these. How many have we actually used? Just eight so far. Well, it's a great potion of exploration once again. Here we go. There. Yeah. And now we are going to go just straight south with some terraria. Throw in the second one there. That will be good. There, yes, move the path. There's the effect. Wow, that's well hidden. That is way out there. Okay. What could that be? All right. And another one. That will allow us to continue. We, we can explore where this one leads then too. Like we go there, just ladle back a little, touch that, fire it up, and curse. Now this becomes quite hellish. 
So you're cursed with fear, feel always inspired, and you're larger, so and it's cursed, so you can't get uh, rid of it. Um, and frost protection. Well, that's not too bad. But um, kind of a weird combination there, isn't it? All right, so we go down here, and then we are pretty much done for this one, I would say. So, just want to grab that XP. Come on. There, yes. Or do we want to just go down there and explore a little bit more? Because that's just some terrarias away, isn't it? Oh, now I really want to see where this whirlpool leads. Does that one actually teleport you over to here? That would be big. Oh, no, wait a second. No, it teleported you over to here. Oh, well, that doesn't help you. Ah, uh, yeah, they make it nasty. All right. Um, this is very well shielded off, as you see. This is not easy to get there. Like, you, if you had just had normal components, ingredients, you would have to go through here and all the way through this path. Oh, no thanks. But yes, let's... Let's end that one here. We are also running very much over time with the episode. So uh, just poof this one here and see where it goes. If it goes and destroys us, that's fine. Oh, it's just up there. Then we do the following. Throw in a few more terrarias and just see where this one leads and then call it a day. All right, let's see. Always on the edge of knowledge. Uh... All right, we can find out another whirlpool at least. This one isn't going to kill us, is it? No, no we're fine. That's good. Yeah, and probably going to find out even another one. So throw that one in. Whew. My stirring is... My stirring hand is getting tired already. So, just go around here for a little bit. Where does this one lead us? Oh, nice teleport. Very nice. And there's another effect. Ooh. Oh, so we know where to go next time. So stir that one and then go explore. Uh, and also grab that XP. And that one. Cool. We're not going to grab the effect because that would lose us these. We do need them for the potion to tick them off our, our checklist. But I do want to grab that, that whirlpool, to see where it goes. I think it will teleport you to, to the other side, but... Um, oh, we already touched it. But uh, there we go. Wait a little and go around. Let's see. Grab that XP. We have gained so much XP. And will be brutal once we sign this off. Oh, yep. Yeah, other side it is. Right. So this now all makes sense from this point of view. So you can get there through from the south as well. Turn off here, go all the way around, and then make the jump to that one. It's probably what we have to have to do in future then, if we want to continue exploring there. But this is all good for now. Grab that XP. Finally, a potion of great exploration too. <coughs> there we have it, and it's an inspirational one. Finish the potion. Definitely not going. Oh, one thousand five hundred. Talent point. What more do we get? 750 for enlargement. 1000 for fear. And 500 for frost protection. And 1000 for inspiration. That was pretty solid, wasn't it? So, let's take a look. We went from here, up here, jumped up to this effect via a little detour over here. And through here. Grab this via a few whirlpools, all the way down to here. All the way, no, not all the way, just down here to the frost protection. Then did take the correct path around because we did see that dashed line there leading to the other side of the barrier. So we went around here, grabbed the curse, then all the way down to here with to an unknown effect. And that is where we left off. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.